we are going to take a little while and talk about standard deviation. Standard deviation is one of the kinds of math problems that you get to brag about after you do it by hand. And I highly recommend you do this really neatly in your notebook. And then once you're through and get the answer, show it off to everybody. Because if you can figure out this equation, it's pretty darn impressive. So let's get right into it. Standard deviation is a measure of the spread of the data values. If you don't understand what that means, don't worry, in a later video you will. Let's break down this equation play by play. This symbol, this means standard deviation. That is, in essence, your answer. X sub i, write that, that is your individual data values, or your numbers that you need to uh, put in there. M is your mean, or mu is your mean right there, and N, you know how many numbers is in your data set. So let's sort of try to figure out what this means. Um, this means add up all your numbers, this means all your numbers, minus the mean, squared, divided by n, square root. So you need to take your numbers, subtract the mean, square it, divide by n, and square root. If you don't understand what this means, let me switch, and, oh, wrong sheet of paper. Let's look at what this means here. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is calculate the mean. We have the mean in that equation. Then you're going to subtract the mean from each value. Okay, value, subtract the mean, and square the answer. Squared. Add the answers from step two. Divide by how many numbers are in the data set. Square root it. And then enjoy your awesome answer. So once again, we calculate the mean. That's our first step. Then we have to subtract the mean from each value. Okay, value, subtract the mean. Square the answer. Add them all up, divide by how many numbers are in the set, take the square root, and enjoy your awesome answer. Let's see what this looks like a little bit in real life. Okay, so these are my numbers. Okay, this is my data set. And this could be, um, you know, how many, how long something takes, pounds that it breaks, it could be any number. The first step we need to do is calculate the mean. So right there, I'm going to do the mean. Now, if you remember, remember, to calculate the mean, you add all these numbers up, then you divide by how many numbers there are. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. When I add all these up, equals 524 divided by 11. So my mean is 47.63. Okay, that's my mean. Now, if we check out the equation right here, we have to subtract the mean from each value. In order to do this, I'm going to set up my problem just like this. Okay, here is my x value, my numbers. Whoops, sorry about that. Here are my x values, um, my numbers. Same as going across the top right here. I just listed them vertically. Got my x right there. Now right here, I'm going to put x minus the mean. My mean is 47.63. Okay, so I have to subtract the mean from every single one. So 2 minus 47.63 equals minus 45.63. 5 minus 47.63 is 42.63 minus 42.63. Um, 48 minus 47.63 is 0.37. 49 minus 47.63 is 1.37. 55 minus 47.63 is 7.37. 58 minus 47.63 is 10.37. 59 minus 47.63 is 11.37. 60 minus 47.63 is 12.37. 62 minus 47.63 is 14.37. 63 minus 47.63, 15.37. And then that is the same number, 15.37. Okay, so we've got our x. We subtracted our mean just like we saw in the equation. 
and this is x minus mean. Now the next step that we have to do is x minus mean squared. So what this means is we simply square this number and put it over there. So 45.63 squared is 2082.09. 42.63 squared, 181731. 0.37 squared is 0 0.136. 1.37 is 1.876. 7.37 squared is 50, 54.31. 10.37 squared, 107.53. 11.37 squared, 129.27. 12.37 squared, 153.01. 14.37 squared, 206.49. 15.37 squared, 236.23. That's the same number there. Okay, now... If we remember back to our steps right here, we have to, check this out, calculated the mean, we subtracted the mean from each value and then squared the answer. We gotta add all these answers together. So right here, do yourself a little arithmetic or arithmetic problem, add this column together. Now when I go through and I add this column together, I get 5024, 0.482. This is not your answer yet, so don't get all excited like, yeah, I did it. This is not your answer. If we check out these steps, we have to then divide by how many numbers are in the data set. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, 5024.482 divided by 11 equals... C, it is 456.77. Now you might be going, yes, I got the answer. No, no you didn't. If you remember, we've got, let's see, the next step is to square root it. So we have to do the square root of this. So the square root of 456.77 equals, drum roll please, 21. Point three seven. Now if we check out the steps right here, now you get to enjoy your awesome answer. So yeah! Woo! Hang on, this is a smiley face. We are enjoying our awesome answer. Enjoy! So the standard deviation of this number set is 21.37. Now, I know that this is a very con confusing concept. It takes a long time to understand it. So, please stop this video, rewind, replay as many times as you need to understand how to mathematically get the standard deviation of a number set. Uh, if you got any questions, see me individually. Peace out.